back on the natural path. Thanks for back coming back. Let's talk about Omega-3 still. We're still on the topic. So this video is called the seven things to look out for when buying fish oil supplements or Omega-3 supplements, basically. So this is a little article I put together yesterday. I had to think long and hard about it. Let's have a look. Probably the first point will be to think about sustainability. Where are you getting your fish oil from? Right? Who's making it? What type of fish species are being used? Let me just read something out to you. Have you ever considered what species of fish are used to make your omega-3 fish oil supplement? How and where were the fish caught? How and where was the oil processed? Many people are surprised to hear that almost all of the omega-3 supplements today for sale in the US are made from the Peruvian anchovy caught in South America. When the fish species is clearly not named, the omega-3 will most likely be sourced from anchovy oil. The Peruvian anchovy fishery has been called the most exploited fishery in world history by the FAO, the Food and Agricultural Organization by the United Nations, and the, the GOED-3, the Global Organization for EPA DHA. They estimate that more than 80% of all omega-3 supplements sold including those sold in America, are made from Peruvian anchovy, the most exploited fishery. It's used in nearly every single brand of fish oil today, in health food stores, pharmacies, whole food marketplaces, Walmart, Costco, iHerb, it's everywhere, everywhere. So when I looked at <coughs> fish oil, I wanted a deep sea cold water fish. And that's why I chose the Pollock, the Alaskan Pollock, because it's from the least exploited fishery in the world. Go and have a look yourself. That's point number one. Don't get fish oil from an exploited fishery, right? The second one, try and make sure that the fish comes from an area with very low pollution. Preferably deep sea caught fish tend to have a lot lower pollution and cleaner waters than fish like the anchovy, which live in much shallower, more polluted, more tropical kind of waters. So think about that. Less poison and toxin in the water, less crap in the fish that they have to take out before you know it's turned into a supplement. That's point two. Point three, that the fish oil has been molecularly distilled to remove all impurities. This is very important because not all fish oils are made the same. Some are made quite sloppily and some unfortunately contain rancid oils. Many fish oil supplements I, samp sup I sampled many years ago made me sick when I went to health food shops, I would buy different types of fish oils, try them out, and I can tell you some of them just smell rancid and they're, they're off. So just be careful what you buy. The fourth one, one of the most important features is that it's delivered in a triglyceride form, molecular form. This is the, found, this is the type of omega-3 that's naturally found in fish, in a triglyceride. If you spend a little time and check the research, you'll find that several important studies indicate that the triglyceride form of omega-3 is better absorbed than the ethyl ester or EE form of omega-3, which is often promoted as the best. And again, I'm pleased that the fish oil that we manufacture is not of the ethyl ester kind, all right? It's um, of the triglyceride form, so much more easily accepted by the cells of your body. The fifth point, that the fish oil contains some level of antioxidants in there to help prevent rancidity and to extend the shelf life. Whether it's, um, it contains antioxidants or not can make a big difference. Vitamin D is good to add at this stage into the supplement. So, and we made sure that we put various antioxidants in our formula to keep it, you know, fresher for longer. Number six, that your fish oil contains vitamin D3. This is very important. Particularly today, we need vitamin D3 for our beleaguered immune systems. It's especially important for many people living in cooler climates. A study in 2020 revealed that those who were hospitalized with COVID-19 had sufficient levels of vitamin D. Um, the patients who were hospitalized who had the sufficient levels suffered less from adverse outcomes and even death. They found that a lot of people who passed with COVID had rock bottom to zero vitamin D levels. Have a look into it. It's actually really sad. Research has shown that having healthy vitamin D can assist in keeping your immune system in a powerful shape, protecting against coughs, colds, flus, and many different things. So traditionally, this was the reason why people had cod liver oil, because it was high in vitamin A and D.
but D3 now we know to be the king uh, of the oil. You really want that in there. Vitamin A is important, but not as important as the vitamin D3. And seven, the last point, that when you buy an oil, it contains sufficient amounts of EPA and DHA. Many fish oils are just cheap blends of anchovies, mackerels, herring, and sardines. They often call 18-12 oils, 18% EPA and 12% DHA. These are standard blends. And generally, they could have oil from 20 different fisheries in them. Not a single species, multiple species caught multiple times, and you know, goodness knows what you're buying. So those are the seven criteria I've put down for deciding on a good fish oil. Thanks for tuning in.